Hi, this is Neil from Italia Autos, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the distant pads on the front of an Alpha 156. First of all, we're going to start by opening the bonnet and undoing the brake fluid reservoir. And now you need to jack the front of your car in the air and take the front wheels off. And I'll show you how to do one side because they are exactly the same. So uh, let's get cracking with that now. Okay, first part we're going to do first is remove the little caliper pin covers. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. You should get a number seven Allen key in the end. Should hopefully be able to undo it. Now the bottom one. As long as those pins are pushed back, you should be able to get the caliper out. Okay, now the pins are pushed back, we just need to release this here, which is the, uh, the brakes pad securing clip. Pop that to one side, because you will need to put that back on. And now it should come off with a little bit of force. There we go. The next part, I'm going to push the caliper back, use a large pair of pliers. Uh, leave one of the old pads in, just so you don't damage the face of the caliper. Pop that on the end, and you should be able to push it back in. That's why we've taken the brake fluid reservoir cap off, so we can push this back in. There we go, that's all the way in now. Remove the other caliper. And now you want to get a bungee cord or a cable tie, just to cable tie this up out the way. There we go, caliper secured out of the way now. Now the 12mm holding the brake disc to the hub. Luckily that was nice and loose, sometimes you do get stubborn ones of these. And now behind the caliper there's two 19mm nuts. We need to undo one just a little bit and the other one needs to come out all the way. Okay, take the top bolt out, the caliper carrier should fold back a little bit, giving you plenty of room to take the old disc out. Let's go and get the new discs and pads now. Now just reattach your securing bolt.
and then reattach your bolts. Now a bit of copper slip on the top of the pad. Being careful not to get it on the friction material. Okay, next job is some brake cleaner and clean the front and back face of the disc. Give it a good wipe over. Slot the outside one in first. You can now pull your caliper out the way and cut the cable tie. Pop the sensor through the caliper. the pad into the caliper. Like so. Just make sure you have put the pads in the right way around. And then we can start winding the caliper pins back in. If you have noticed, I have upgraded these from the standard vent, standard non-vented discs to the, the vented type. So the customer should now have better braking. And pop your secu securing clip back on. You can either pop it in from the bottom or the top first. I normally go from the bottom. And if it is a bit tight, you can use a little hammer and then just make sure they're located all the way in. Um, this is redundant on this card because there's no wiring loom left for the uh, brake wad pad wear sensor. So we'll clip that on anyway. Move the old cable tie out of the way. Let's rotate the disc, make sure then nothing's catching. And there we go, we're now safe to put the tyre back on. And that is how you change the front disc and pads on an Alpha 156. What you will want to do before you start the vehicle, once you've done both sides, is check your brake fluid level, pop your reservoir top back on, and before you move off, make sure you pump the bridle, pedal several times to make sure you've got good brakes before you set off again. So there you go. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.